Hello, I'm Rainy. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour of our playroom, which is the room that I'm sat in right now. But it is not just our playroom, it is also our entrance hallway. So I'm going to be sharing with you the IKEA products and IKEA hacks that I have used to create this space and make it into a functioning hallway and a functioning playroom. So stay tuned, I promise you won't be disappointed. And if you're new to my channel and you like my videos, I would love for you to stick around and see some of the other videos that I do, so make sure that you hit that subscribe button and then you won't miss anything that I post. I post one video a week on a Sunday evening and where possible I'll also post more videos throughout the week too. But without further ado, let's start this video. Now it's very difficult to kind of get the perspective in uh, this video, but this room used to be the garage and the previous owners converted it into another room to the house. So if I just walk into the room and then turn around, you'll see that's our front door. And then as we spin around, you'll see this archway here. This would once upon a time have been the entrance to our home. So if we'd have used the entire space as say a dining room or another sitting room, it's actually a really difficult space to use because it would then be extremely narrow and thin because you have to keep the walkway. Hence, we decided to turn it into a playroom, but not just a playroom. Because of course, the other problem about this house is that it didn't really have an entrance hall. So with a little bit of imagination and some help from Pinterest, We've also been able to create a little area where we can put our shoes. And if we turn around the other way, we are also able to hang up our coats. So this is the IKEA Hemnes coat rack, I think it's called. And it's just great because obviously it's given us the shelf above, but it did only have this one row here of coat hooks. And actually this one wasn't part of it. The ones that come with it, obviously, if you know anything about the Hemley's range, they always have these little um, like door knobs or hooks or whatever you want to call them. And it just had the, these all the way along this row. So I didn't think that was enough hanging space. We obviously, got with us two, we've got the two children and then when guests come, you want to make sure you've got plenty of space for people to hang their coats up. So I bought some extra little doorknobs, I think they were like cupboard knobs, from um, B&Q, I think these ones were from, I can't quite remember what they were called, but if I can find them, I will link to them in the description below. And then we drilled some more holes into the top of our Hemnes coat hook, and then I added in these extra ones, so this one here, obviously this one here, and then because I wanted to make it neat, I alternated them with the ones that were already with um, the unit. But over time, we've had to add more hooks to it because of the fact that kids have so many coats now. So what we've done is we've bought some of these really cool, like little cat's tail um, hooks, if you can see them. They're from Ikea as well. They're really great. Our daughter picked them out. She absolutely loves them. So we've given her one to play with. But obviously, I've just had to attach a few more onto the sides for um, some extra bits and pieces, some extra storage. And then we also have this nifty little bench. I think it's from the Hemneys range. It wasn't a shoe bench, although it looks like one. It was one that was designed to go into the bathroom, but I liked it because it was smaller and I just bought some of the little cushions to sit on top of it. Then on this side, We've got the Hemneys shoe rack. So we obviously keep all our shoes in these. So there's all of my shoes in one side. All of my husband's shoes in the other side. And yeah, likewise at the bottom, it's just a really handy little um, unit. Keeps everything hidden away so you're not sort of tripping over shoes. And then we do have some shoes. Obviously, my really big boots don't fit in any of these spaces, so they sit at the edge there. 
So that is how we've created our little look. And we've also got a little bit of artwork on the walls. So we've just got some cute little pictures of us. I don't think you can see that very easily there. But uh, yeah, I like that little photo frame and it goes really nicely with the colours in here. And then because of the fact that this room isn't designed to be uh, two sections, obviously the light doesn't hit this little entrance bit as well at night. So we've just got a little lamp in here just to help a bit um, to increase the brightness. And then we might think about putting a wall light probably there at some point. So this is our room divider. So this is how we've been able to create a playroom and a hallway. This IKEA Calyx unit, it's, it was actually a 4x4 four four because IKEA don't do a 3x4. So if you know what I mean, I'm meaning the number of boxes or the number of spaces in the unit. So I had to, with my husband, cut this one down. We cut all down this edge and then we reconfigured the unit. And what's great about this is that we can store lots of the kids' toys and bits and pieces in here. I always make sure that everything in the bottom two rows are things that I don't mind just getting into and playing with as they want to. Yay, good boy. <laughs> And then in the ones that are higher up, I tend to keep the things that I don't really want the kids to get into too much independently. So this one has all the arts and crafts stuff. It's obviously got our washable paints. It's got some craft paper and got the, the busy bags that I talked about in one of the other videos. And then lots and lots of Play-Doh and some cutters for Play-Doh. And what I tend to do is when Josiah goes down for his long nap, his two hour nap, I'll take Lily to the kitchen table and we will get out the paints. Yeah! And so of course you get this lovely effect of the colourful unit when you first walk in the door without seeing that it's entirely full of toys. The other thing that's really useful in here is that I've used the end of the Calyx unit to hang our family planner and it's just great because it's right by the door so I can check it before I go out. And then underneath it we bought a chalkboard wall sticker which we've just stuck on the end of the Calyx unit. And then I keep on the top of the unit a little pot just here full of chalks and a little um, sort of chalkboard eraser or whiteboard eraser, what you want to call it. So the other thing I really, really love in here is our floor mats. So these are just your average foam play floor mats, but they're really great because it just creates a little area that when they're playing in, it's obviously safe for them. If they fall, they're falling on a soft surface. But it also just creates a bit of a divider again. So like I was saying, that ability to be able to use this section as the corridor that we walk through. And then the play mat area is where they're supposed to play. Obviously, they're kids and so they normally, when they play, it will spill out everywhere. Everything in here pretty much is battery operated. I didn't think we would ever go through the amount of batteries that we actually go through. I will even show you the size of the pack of batteries that we have in the cupboard at the minute. And then we have this little toy unit, which we had for Lily, hence why it's all pink. Poor Josiah, he didn't get a lot of blue stuff yet. And then we've also got this lovely little bookcase. This one actually came from Aldi of all places. I think it was about 10 or 15 pounds. Um, but it's just really cute. It's a lovely place to store more of the little books in. And then we've got this gorgeous little um, sort of, it's meant to be an overbed canopy, but we've used it in here over the chair just to create a little reading nook so that when I'm sat in here with the kids, I've got a place that I can sit and read books to them. And then I love this idea here. So again, this was a yet another Pinterest hack. 
where you buy the IKEA spice racks and you spray paint them whatever colour you like and then you fit them on your wall and instead of putting spices in them you display your favourite books. So I absolutely love that, I think it's so colourful, it really brightens up the wall. And then underneath Toothless is this really cool um, basketball cushion which again came from Ikea. It's really really squidgy, I don't know if you can see that, lovely and squidgy. And Josiah will just literally run up at it and throw himself on it and bite it and all sorts of things. He loves it. So yeah, very, very strange toy that they love that I'd have never thought would be that exciting. And then finally, probably my absolute favourite toy in this room is Lily and Josiah's Little Play Kitchen. Now I love this guy. It's so cute and well, I would have loved to have something like this as a little girl. Yay! Good girl! Well done! Are you going to put it in the pan? In the saucepan? Are you going to do some cooking? Yeah! Well done! So we put some little hooks on the side of Lily and Josiah's toy kitchen and we hung up the little toy broom and mop and then at the bottom here is little toy hoover. So that is it for our little playroom tour. I hope you've enjoyed coming around with me and seeing all the little things that we've done to make this a usable space both for us and for the kids. And if there's anything that you've seen that you like or that you want to try or you want to know more about, pop a comment in the comments box below and I'll reply to as many of you as I can. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys and say goodnight. So I really hope that you've liked this video and don't forget, if you did, give it the thumbs up, share it with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching, bye!